It's something special. I mean, look at those headlights, man. <laughs> it looks awful. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome to BeamNG Drive slash automation. If you didn't know, these two games are collaborating. So you can make your own car in automation and then export it to play in BeamNG Drive. So in this video, we're going to be building a very, very, very terrible car and then playing with it in BeamNG Drive. So if we click on sandbox, you'll see this is all sped up, by the way. I'm recording this in post, so I apologize if it doesn't line up very well. Anyway, I wanted to build like a 1980s muscle car and it, this game is a lot more uh, in-depth than I thought. So if you're seeing me do weird stuff on screen, by like trying to make the engine as big as possible, it's just because I was kind of uh, messing around with it, but I ultimately went with a kind of smaller engine. I just wanted the car to run, if that makes any sense, but this game is super, super detailed. You build the engine from scratch and you get to se select every single component and how much power everything has and everything. It's absolutely insane, and it gets transferred over to Beam NG Drive. It's really, really awesome. I'm, I'm so glad that these two games uh, collaborated together to add something like this because it just makes it, the, the, the content creation for Beam NG Drive is going to skyrocket after this launches in just a couple days. So what's today? The 10th? On the 13th, I believe this will be available to everybody who has BeamNG Drive and automation. And as you can see, I'm fiddling with all of this stuff, trying to get all of the uh, all of the settings right. And as it stands, this thing is pushing out 229 horsepower. <laughs> so nothing uh, extreme, but it's gonna get me from A to B. And I really like the way this thing actually looks. It's a little bit wide for me, and the color was a little bit weird. And I think I ended up going with like a weird kind of red orangish color. Yeah, you can see me kind of messing around with these things right here. And that blue one, oh, that's that's just a little too uh, loud for me. So I ended up going with a nice little orange. Yeah, it, lo it looked it looked red on here in like a bronze color. Uh, and you guys will see in a minute what it actually looks like in Beam and G Drive. But at the time, I thought it looked really cool with like the paint sparkles and everything. But yeah, this basically has a big V8 engine in it and you can't really tell. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll get what I mean when we go into beam and G drop but right now I'm just kind of putting on the headlights and taillights and all the stuff like that It's not the prettiest car you'll ever see and it has giant freaking taillights, but I think I think it looks pretty cool it has a nice little uh, Scooped hood and I made the the actual bonnet uh, like a carbon fiber black color and I even had like this huge wing to it as you can see not in hindsight, I'm not really sure it looks that great, but I kind of like it, and it probably adds down for us. You never really know. This game is super, super detailed. <laughs> These games are perfect for each other, basically. And uh, it is very early on in the stages of um, integration. Like, um, it's kind of rough, not going to lie. But the possibilities are basically endless. And I'm really, really excited to see uh, how it's going to how it's gonna improve in the future. There I go. Yeah, I thought it was so cool adding, like, a, a fuel cap and two, two, <laughs> two door handles. Oh man, here I am just uh, kind of messing with some other stuff. It's not the best looking, it's not the best performing, it's not the best looking car of all time, but I it's the first car it's the first real car I actually spent time making. So, you know, I'm actually really really proud of it and there's all the charts you can pause if you want to see it. It's probably not very interesting though. Anyway, there's the test track. Once we actually finish up here, uh, we have the option to export to BeamNG Drive. You can see the little BeamNG Drive symbol down there. And uh, I'm going to rename it to uh, Neil's Crappy Muscle Car. <laughs> I think that's what I named it. Yeah, Neil's Crappy Muscle Car. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And we're going to click Export to BeamNG Drive. And now we can go over to BeamNG Drive and actually drive this beast. So let's do it. All righty. So now that we're in Beam and G Drive, we can go to play Free Roam. And you'll notice that there is a new map that goes by the name of Automation Test Track. This is the same test track from Automation, only you can actually drive on it now. So when you make a car, you can actually drive it in Beam and G Drive. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to just go to, yeah, you know what, the starting line. Why the heck not? 
Alrighty, so we're in. Now, if we go to the car selector, we can look down and we should see our new creation. There it is, Neil's crappy muscle car. It even comes with a thumbnail and everything. Here is a mod I made before recording this. It is super, super crappy. It's called the Bootleg uh, Lambo. We'll take a look at that in a minute, although I don't want to because I know it's going to look absolutely terrible anyway let's start up with Neil's crappy muscle car and see what this thing can do now now I threw this car together in like 15 minutes so I'm not expecting anything amazing but here it is in the flesh that color does not look as cool as it did in automation but you know you got to keep in mind that this is still early in production this this feature and it will be improved over time so it might look like uh, flesh colored right now but just know in the future that i imagine this stuff will work a lot better oh yeah she runs <laughs> i have created this that's what's so cool about it i made this thing and it's running around the track before my very eyes i just think that is so cool now this thing is fat ladies and gentlemen but i actually like those tail lights i think that looks pretty cool now if i had more time with the game i mean i just for maybe in the future uh, maybe I can work a little bit harder on the vehicles and actually make them presentable but for the purposes of this video I just kind of threw one together just to kind of show how it all works I did I don't really know anything about automation that was my first time really using it and just using some dev created tutorials man this thing does not turn worth a crap and you know there were some probably some warnings telling me that it was not gonna turn very well but I just ignored them because all I cared about was seeing my creation in the flesh and it's I mean I am right here it's really cool and it's actually a lot quicker than I th I mean it's not fast by any sense of the word but it gets up there 70 miles an hour 80 miles an hour can we see under yeah you can see under it now the interior and stuff is not uh, is not rendered because it's not rendered in automation really either but uh, that would be a feature feature I'd love to see in the future and you got to keep in mind I this stuff is going to be updated with as of both games get updated so when automation updates i imagine the integration with beam and g will update as well i mean i'm not really sure but i have been talking to the devs a lot in the discord chat and they are really excited about this which i am too let's go ahead and crash it oh <laughs> main engine broken now you're gonna notice that this looks very very bootleggy in the way it crashes and that's just another artifact of this being very very early on I imagine it is going to look a lot better in the future but for now this is what we get you get to make a car in automation and crash it all the same it might not look pretty but it's there you can any car you could possibly think of now this is basically a template right here but any car you could possibly make if you learn how to use automation you can put it into Beam and G Drive and wreck it. Now, let's check out that bootleg Lambo, why don't we? This is god-awful. This is the first one I made this morning, and it is it's something special. I mean, look at those headlights, man. <laughs> it looks awful. It looks completely awful. I wonder how much it costs. Anyway, uh, the back looks pretty slick though. I don't know if I, I I feel like that wing was probably a bad idea and this thing is Abysmally slow. I completely messed up the engine creation on this So it tops out at about 60 miles an hour You could ride your bike faster than this thing goes basically is what I'm saying But it looks really cool. I guess from from certain angles But for most angles it looks terrible. <laughs> Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad, but it runs okay. It runs and it's a car and you know honestly that's about it that's about all it has going for it if we're being completely honest so why don't we do a little crash test with our two vehicles here so I am actually gonna throw this right about uh, oh there goes the there goes the, <laughs> the mirror we didn't need it anyway let's just throw I like the tires on it though those are really cool tires anyway let's go ahead and crash our muscle car into our perfect Italian supercar here we go Boom! Yeah. I think... Can this can this even take any damage? Oh, yeah, the, the tire's busted, but that's about it. Maybe it's a lot sturdier than it leads on. I don't know. Let's just run it into the wall and see if we can even get dented. Yeah, kind of. Not really, but kind of. Anyway, let's go over to an actual crash testing place and see if we can actually do some 
proper crash testing here. So where is it? Uh, I know I have it. In, there it is. BIHS crash hall. And see if we can actually get a proper crash test out of these two monstrosities. All right, so let's go for the uh, the supercar first. I, I I I shouldn't even call it a supercar. It's not even close to a supercar. It's basically a, <laughs> a scooter with the body of a car. But let's see what we can do here. Those tail lights are so tiny. Look at those things. <laughs> oh, this thing sucks so hard, man. I can barely even get it up to 60 miles an hour. There we go. Let's see how she holds up, though. And boom. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> we kind of messed up the face of this thing a little bit, but uh, it held up pretty. Look how tiny the engine is in this thing. Where's the engine? There it is. Look at that thing. That's it. That's the engine right there. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Okay. Okay. Let's try out the muscle car now. And where is it? There it is. That the, the thumbnail actually makes this thing look a lot more awesome than it is. I'm not going to lie. It looks pretty. Pretty, pretty bad in real life, but it looks better than that su that supercar, that's for sure. Anyway, let's see what we can do here. Come on. It has it basically has Mustang headlights. <laughs> Just <laughs> throw it on top of this like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there, boys. That uh, did not do too well. <laughs> nope. Snapped. That's for sure. But. It, it, it's a car in BMG Drive. I mean, what do you guys want? I just think this is so cool. You can think it looks terrible if you want, but I, I am looking towards the future, and I bet I am betting that this is going to be one of the most the coolest features in the game pretty soon. When it starts to get up to the standards where it looks like an actual car in BMG Drive, that's when I'm going to be excited. But it's still pretty awesome now. It's still pretty cool, but we got to throw these off the car jumperino. I mean, obviously. So <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. All right, here we are. So let's try out. Let's try out the supercar. I'm just gonna go in order here. Uh, you know what? I'm also really excited to see what other people make with this feature because I am not the best at making cars. Today I learned, but I know a lot of you guys out there are amazing at it. So you can bet your bottom dollar I'm gonna be checking out the best of the bunch uh, when this feature goes live in just a, in just a couple days. Yeah, you guys can play with this in just a couple days if you have both games. And I'm super excited to see what you fine people make because, yeah, I, I can guarantee you're going to be a lot better than me. Look how flat this thing flies. Yeah. Like we landed about 250 and this thing is still in perfect shape. Holy crap. Straight into the swimming pool we go. Oh, God. <laughs> we lost the, uh, we lost the, uh, the wing. This thing from the back looks almost exactly like a uh, Lamborghini Huracan minus the weird tail lights. But uh, I think that's what I was going for when I actually designed that thing. I'm not really sure. Anyway, where is my... Yes, Neil's crappy muscle car is going to go down in the BMG and automation history books as the finest vehicle ever made. Probably not, but uh, I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, here we go. Let's see how fast this... Is the engine going to explode on this one, too? Probably. Here we go, 100 and... 13 miles an hour. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect launch. You know what? Let's just run this thing into the wall at 130 miles an hour. Boom. Well, that was a little anticlimactic, anyway, wasn't it? Anyway, uh, <laughs> that's going to do it for this episode of Beam and G Drive Slash automation so if you guys want to see more of this in the future well you're going to get it anyway because it's awesome but if you liked what you saw let me know down below or let me let me know your general thoughts do you think this is stupid or do you think it's promising i think it's promising but uh you're open to your own opinion so let me know down below and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys in the next one see ya